thank you for tuning in to another episode of Live It. Zoe attempts a hornswoggle and sneaks into the Branniston Manor. Does she pull off her heist, or does she end up in a hooskow? As we welcome you to Live It. checked in. There was the room I woke up in. There there was the, the, the parents' room. I, I haven't checked this room yet. Okay, it's, it looks like a small, not a small closet, I guess. This closet seems to be bigger than my room at home. Wow, it's got a bunch of suit jackets. It might be in here. Um, I'll, I'll go on the high shelf. No, safe would it be on the high shelf? Duh. Um, I'll check under here, maybe it's... Oh, that's a sock drawer. Those are ties. Who needs that many ties? Um... I, 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 it has to be in here. This is... This is the last room I checked. Oh! You clean oh the... I, I you clean the dust room and I'll dust the clean room and I'll dust all the rooms. McDonkin's room, McDonkin's room, that kid really pisses me off. Oh, dust it here, dust it there, dust it everywhere now. Got a feather duster in me hand. McDooly dooly 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 dust a man. room. Hey, uh, Lizbeth, you, you see my, uh, my pants anywhere? I want you to iron them for me. Oh, Duncan, your room's a your room's a bloody mess, Duncan. Well, that's your fault, ain't it? <laughs> that's true. You got old Elizabeth there, Duncan. Oh me. yeah. I don't know why I pointed out my own faults in my work. Please don't send me back to England. What are you What are you doing in here, huh? Oh, Master Duncan. Oh my God, my pants are missing for some weird weird reason. It's because you didn't put them on, Master Master Duncan. Well, that's because you didn't remind me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to remind you to put on pants. I forgot. After you, after you made a mess in them, I forgot. I forgot they were in the wash. You're not supposed to talk about that, huh? I mean, it's just the That's two of us. I'm the, I'm the one who's washing them. I'm the one who's washing them, Master Duncan. <laughs> yeah, I know. You don't, are you about to cry? Where, where are my pants, huh? It's okay. I got I got them right there. Don't don't cry though. It's okay, Duncan. It's okay. Here, here you I'm go. Fine. Here you go. Nice pair of slacks. Thank you. One foot and do the other, and another foot and do the other. Wow, you're real good at putting on pants. Thank you. I do it every day. Wow. Ooh. Every other day. Never mind that. <laughs> yep, every other day. Um, here's your belt. All right. How do I buckle it? Oh, like this. Here, let me, let me, let me maneuver it no, for you. Oh, make me feel ow, stupid now. Ow, my hands. Oh, I got it, I got it. I'm okay. so old and weary. Through the loop. Yep. We're good. You, All right. You missed one. Oh, yeah. There, there you go. Yeah. Well, good job, right. Master Duncan. Off Ready? I go. On a hot date. <sighs> How much did you pay for this one? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Enough? Oh, it was a joke, but I see that it's actually turned out to be reality. Oh. See you later. Hopefully he doesn't mess himself. <laughs> On to the next room. <laughs> oh! What is wrong with this family? You got a crazy maid, a crazy mom, and a spoiled brat of a son. Okay. I, so I checked behind. Maybe, maybe it's in like one of those like those wall safes. So, so I'll check behind the jackets. Um, I can't seem to reach. Maybe there's something I can step on. I, I, I'll move the sock. The, the, no, that's too heavy. Um, here, there's there's an ottoman. You know your closet's big when you can have an ottoman in it. I'll step. Okay, I can. Okay, I'll do, I can just reach it. I. Okay, it's not it's not behind here. I don't. It, it has to be in here. Um. God, this closet's so big, I don't even know where to start. Oh! The white rag bandit strikes again. I'll, I'll hide Wiping the, the floor of all the badness. Hopefully Duncan 
doesn't walk in again and hear me singing about how much I hate him. That would be upsetting. Wiping the window. <laughs> Wiping the windows with my cockney spit. <laughs> my room yet? Yep, no spit on the windows or nothing. Are you sure? Because they're looking awfully peculiar. I've been, I've been working for the family for years. Ain't ever spit on a window once, miss. Okay, well, I was just walking around reminiscing and kind of feeling a little emotional. What about you? Oh, I mean, I have been employed by by Master Dudley for a long time, so I'm very upset, you know, with his passing and whatnot. But I mean, he's the one who brought me here from from good old England in a crate. Well, not at all. I'm not at all happy he's dead. I'd I'd be upset, you know. I I miss the way he used to hit me with a stick when I didn't do things right. It was really fun, actually, for both of us. It was, it made a game of it. I got scars on my back. Lizbeth, darling, please. Sorry, just reminiscent myself. <laughs> oh, cockney bees knees, cockney bees knees. I miss England so much. Although if I were to go back, I would surely be killed. Treason against the queen is a punishable offense. I'd be beheaded or something. Lisbeth, Lisbeth, please, would you stop that cackling? It's absolutely absurd. It sounds quite satirical of you to speak of him in that way. You know, I'm actually going to cut this quick. I, I suspect you, if it wasn't that one person or, you know, ghosts or whatever, it had to have been you. Me? Yes. You can't be you? expecting me! Good old Lisbeth, the Cockney Maid! I'm so chipper and upbeat and not at all covered in rashes. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't believe you, and we're going to have to have a serious talk. You can't send me back to England. They'll I have might have to. They'll kill me there! Well, so be it. You've endured enough here. Maybe we have to send you back. Because I cannot deal with anything else here. All this weird happening and such. It's too much. Confess yourself. But I didn't do it. Too bad. You wish I did it? You know, I'm going to go sip some tea. I cannot handle any more of this. We will speak again. All right. I'm going to go clean more windows. <gasps> Not too fond of her myself. Oh. That's disgusting. Uh, there, wait, there it is. It's behind the sock drawer. If I could just push it. Yes, I see it. Okay, it looks like it's it's um it's a number combination. Um, what what are what are some numbers? Um. Let's see, um, six, how, how old is, how old is Dudley? Um, how old was, was Duncan and 32, five? <gasps> oh my God, uh, are you serious? You're uh, back in my house? I, I can explain. You're breaking this... into my safe? N what? Oh no, um, I... and, and now you're a burglar? No, no, I, I, I... I can explain. You see, I I came to see Duncan and and, and hurt yeah. him too. No, no. Oh my god! Um, uh, the pants. He uh he needed. You're going to not my son. No, no, no. Listen, he he needed pants, and so I I came. He told me to come in here to look, and I I swear I wasn't breaking into the safe or anything. You have the smirk of a dirty person. I don't believe you one bit. I don't know what that means, but 
I, I swear, I, I'm not. I I wouldn't. I, I I wouldn't do that kind of thing. I'm not. Why are you in my house again? I, Just tormenting. I tried to tell you I came here to look for for Duncan and. Don't worry, uh, ma'am. The constable's already on his way. I phoned them immediately because I didn't kill anybody. No, listen. It's it's really not what it seems. I. I I, like I said, I came for Duncan, and I, I, maybe I should be going. I should really... Tell it to the constable! You'll get at least 30 lashings get her for this out. one. Get her out, please! I cannot stand this or your face ever again in here. Why would you return to the very house you broke into? The very house you've been arrested? The very house the you've been murdered. Murdered. murdered? My husband. My husband. This has been a Just Serendipity production recorded by John McLean and James Von Bolt at the legendary Dog and Pony Studios.